What's going on, guys and gals? This is T from Kaizen Focus TV. In this video, we're going to be talking about the secrets to success. The secrets to what? Success. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the three steps that I believe is the major factors to the secrets of success. I usually try to keep it only three parts. That way it makes it easier to remember. And I try to keep it as simple as possible because I believe that anything with more than three parts and makes it too difficult to understand, it's hard to really carry on with it. And without further ado, let's roll the intro. Wait, I don't have an intro yet? All right, maybe next time then that uh, I got to work on that next video. <laughs> the first secret to success, uh, and I believe is the most important one, the first step to everything else is your mentality uh, what you tell yourself will always be more important than what you tell others confucius has a saying that says the man who says he can't and the man that says he cannot are both right that just basically states that you are the controlling factor you are the one that makes the difference that the only limitations set are the ones that you place you're the one that has to believe that they can do what they're about to set to do. If you're about to go do something and uh, start your journey and you don't believe in it, then how are you ever going to accomplish it? You've already failed from the, uh, from the very start. If you don't think you can do it, do it anyways. If you don't think you can do a successful YouTube channel, make it anyways. If you don't think anyone's going to listen to any of your videos or watch your videos, Make the video anyways. Then let's just see. You don't want to go out there and uh, out there and just already limit yourself on the what you can, what you can't do. Uh, you never know until you try. And just once you try, just keep going. Just keep on doing it until you succeed. You only fail if you give up. I mean, if you haven't even started in the first place, you've already failed. So why? What do what do I have to lose? The second part to the secret of success is planning. You got to define your desires. You got to write down what your you want your lifestyle to be. You got to define how you want it to be and you got to define when you want it. If you don't know what you want, how do you know that you've achieved it? Do you just shoot in the dark and say, "Hey, behold, I'm successful." <laughs> how do you know what you're successful at? You don't even know what you want yet. How do you know that you're not successful? You got to define these terms. Each person defines success differently. What one considers a success might not, uh, might not be successful to another person. So that's why you got to define what you want. After you've defined it, now you can start looking. Um, if you're not looking for it, how will you find it? You think there's a good chance that if I'm sitting around watching my favorite soap opera, that a book called secrets to making a successful youtube channel is just gonna magically land on my lap i wish <laughs> that would make my life so much easier i have to go search and find it myself i have to go and research it on youtube research it on the internet the library anywhere where there's going to give me information for me to make a plan for me to figure out what i have to do once i get all the necessary information in place i start to make a plan uh, to execute everything that is required. I put a time right behind that so that way I know uh, when that time comes whether I have achieved it or not. One of my favorite motivational speaker, Les Brown, has this quote what I think really resides in this part. And it's, he says that it's better to be prepared and not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. You would have wasted the few chances that you'll have to truly change your life towards the way that you want it to. Now that you've got your planning down, we can head to the third part, which I think is also equally just as important as the other two parts of the secret to success, and that is action. Without action, everything doesn't matter. Last time I checked, wishing and praying didn't work to bring results. All the mentality, all the uh, planning work, all that doesn't matter if you don't take action. You got to take massive action, keep working towards where you're trying to go. You can't procrastinate. You can't let things just kind of kick you off and just get lazy because time will go by. Once you've taken action towards your goals, your plan, 
Just keep on going. Be persistent. Be consistent. Think of the train. Once it takes a lot of energy to start going, once it's built up its momentum, it's very difficult to stop a moving train. And that's what you got to do. Keep that momentum going and just keep on going. You only fail when you stop and when you truly quit. Keep working at it until you get the results that you want. Jim Rohn, another one of my favorite motivational speakers, says to adapt the ant mentality. And I'm going to tell you a story about that right now. Um, I have a trail of ants that goes uh, across my garage door every day. Every time I go to work, I walk out. They're diligently working, just forming that line, going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I go to work at the graveyard. I go to work in the evenings. I go home from the mornings. All, at all different times, they're diligently working, and none of them has stopped. And just, there's not a single time I didn't see a line coming through, because they know they know winter is coming, winter is coming. <laughs> so um, they're not gonna have any other time to store food. You know, if they don't work at it and they just keep on going, their whole colony is gonna die. You think one of the ants are like, "Hey, Bob." I'm kind of lazy today. I'm gonna tired. I'm kind of tired. It's too hot. I'm too cold. I'm too sweaty. I'm too lazy. I'm too hungry. Whatever the reason is, it's like, can I take a break for a little bit? You know, a little bit just becomes forever. I don't think the whole colony. The the whole colony depends on each ant doing their part. Uh, that if any one of them just stops, they're gonna die. They're gonna fail. And I uh, I don't think you have that ability to just say hey i'm gonna be lazy you're just making up excuses not to do it that's it so you gotta adapt that mentality that no matter what you do you're gonna keep on doing it until you succeed at the goals and the plans that you had set out to do and just never give up on it and there you have it gals and girls that is the secret to success I mean, it shouldn't be any secret. It should have been kind of obvious. But you'll be surprised. What is that saying? Common sense is not so common. That's exactly what it is. I wish someone had just sat me down when I was younger and just told me, just explained in depth that simple things like this that I should have just focused on. And I could have probably accomplished so much more in my lifetime than I did already. I probably wouldn't have wasted so much time doing other stupid stuff that, you know, I did going growing up, being a teenager, just living life and just not having uh, a care in the world. But if I had been taught this when I was younger, I could have done a lot more. So that's why I'm making these kind of videos. And hopefully that you guys would use this to do better with your life, achieve more. So here's the recap of everything, uh, the three parts. It's uh, your first is mentality. You got to believe in yourself. Don't let other people tell you what you can and can't do. Don't set limitations on yourself. You never know what you can and can't do until you go out there and try it. And the second part is planning. Uh, if you're not looking for what you're trying to do, how will you find it? How you find the strategies, the steps to do it? You can't just shoot in the dark and just say, hey, I'm going to be successful without trying to figure out how to be successful, without defining what success means to you. If you don't write it down, you don't have a goal, you don't know where you're going, how you how will you know that you've hit it? Uh, the third one was action. Uh, with the other two, it's important, but without action, you just sit there and it won't do anything. You can put your hands together and you can wish and pray all you want. That That's not going to change any of the results. You know, you got to capitalize on the opportunities that you get. You got to keep taking that action. Be persistent. You got to be consistent. Keep working at it until you succeed, no matter what. Just remember, you only fail if you give up. That's it. Everything else is a learning experience. You learn what you did right, what you did wrong, and you just keep tweaking it until you find the path, the, the journey that will take you straight to where you want to be. And if you guys are still here listening to this, um, comment below. Leave me a like, a subscribe. Um, if you like this content, uh, if you don't like this content, um, still 
comment, like, subscribe. I, I need any help I can get. Let me know how I can, uh, what I can do to improve. I know there's lots of things I can do to improve in this video, but so far this is what I got. This is the the extent of my knowledge. So I'm gonna work to keep on getting better, provide all good information the best I can, and try to make the videos a lot better, a little more entertaining for you guys. All right. Thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.